guys! Today I'm going to review the Catabatic The Nick Backpack and why you should or shouldn't buy it. Backpack on the Pacific Crest Trail. I didn't carry it the whole way. I had a Z-Pax backpack for the desert section, but it was older and delaminated, so I switched to this one. The capacity of this pack is 40 liters, and that is comprised of two liters in each of the side pockets, six liters in the big mesh pocket here, 28 liters in the main body, and an extra four liters in the extension collar. The pack is 14.1 ounces. That is the weight that's listed on their website and also on my scale. Uh, now, not included with that is the removable hip belt. This hip belt uh, adds an extra 0.8 ounces and um, it's not going to take any load off your shoulder. The purpose of this is just to kind of, because it's just like, it, it's just kind of stabilize the pack moving side to side when you're hiking, jumping on rocks or doing whatever, there's gonna be less of a sway. Um, so, uh, starting strap here, um, it has a really big buckle, so if you have cold fingers or whatever, it's going to be easy for you to buckle up. And the buckle also has a whistle. Hey bear! So great for safety there. Uh, side pocket. So easy to grab stuff. In here I have a tall boy can of beer so you can see this is a very large pocket. There is um, a kind of like an elastic cord there that you can adjust and tighten up if you want if you're sticking something large in there like your tent. Now uh, a word with the smart water bottles. They are very thin and smooth. Uh, this is a small size one but it's also a problem with the larger sizes. When you put that in the pocket um, and you do something like you bend over this one doesn't have any water in it, but it, it falls out. I lost a water bottle down a cliff by accident, and I felt really bad, really bad for littering in the wilderness, but it was down a cliff, like I, I, I couldn't retrieve it. So I learned my lesson, and I switched to the uh, water base Gatorade or Powerade style bottles, and then with those I don't have a problem with the bottles falling out. So yeah, easy to grab, easy to uh, get stuff out of the back pockets. And then there is a top strap that goes over the roll top, um, just kind of compresses everything down. And if you want, you can put a, a larger item across the top. Not a bear gangster, that won't work. But you know, like if you have um, one of those uh, foam pads or whatever, you could attach it there. The pack is made out of three main materials. You have a heavyweight strong mesh for the front pocket. The bottom and the sides of the pockets here are made out of 500D Cordura fabric. This is very, very strong. So it's great knowing you can just kind of plop your pack down on some rocks and you don't have to worry about creating a hole. And then the main part of the pack here is made out of light skin. Light skin is a new fabric made by sail cloth maker Dimension Polyant, and it's very similar to Cuban fiber, or as it's called now, Dyneema, Dyneema composite fabric, in that it's waterproof and it is strong. It's slightly heavier than um, the Cuban fiber that's used in uh, a lot of backpacks. I'd say it's about uh, half an ounce per square yard heavier, uh, but it's worth it for the, durab the durability of the fabric. Uh, with some of my uh, Cuban fiber packs, I've experienced di uh, delaminating and from rubbing and wear. This pack has held up uh, and uh, it looks almost brand new. This pack is waterproof to 600 PSI, uh, but the seams are not sealed and they're not taped. And when I ordered my pack, I actually asked if that was an option. There's, there's no option for that. So if you get this pack, you're going to have to use it with some kind of pack liner to keep everything secure from getting wet. One of my favorite features is the magnetic roll top closure. Most packs have a Velcro closure, but that Velcro can be a little rough on sensitive materials like your puffy jacket. So with the magnetic, it's nice and smooth, so nothing will snag. So just snaps closed like that, and then you can uh, roll down and clip. Now, just don't put your compass right next to those magnets, because that could be a problem. Does it fit a beer canister? Yes. 
Uh, this is my Bear Vault 450. And okay, so I have my Bear Vault inside. And um, as you can see, it fits very well. There's a lot of extra room. And uh, because this pack is frameless, you don't want that hard plastic against your back. So I normally um, take my pool play in the back there. So much room. And um, well, in the Sierra, it also stuck all my extra clothes there to make it as comfortable as possible. Should you buy this pack? If your total load weight is less than 15 pounds, this pack can carry it. So I'm talking your base weight plus your water plus your food. Because when you get uh, start to go above 15 pounds, you're gonna really feel it in your shoulders. These, and these shoulder straps uh, held out well. There's uh, no flattening of the padding. They're still very padded. Um, but when you have a heavier load, like my heaviest entire load was 20 pounds when I was going from near ranch to Lone Pine and I really felt it. And it felt like I was carrying a giant brick on my back. So less than 15, yeah, then you can grab this backpack. It sells for um, $195 right now on the Catabatic website. Uh, if you are going to be carrying a, a larger load, then look for a different backpack. Uh, Catabatic does have the Omni, which has a, um, Pat, a more robust hip belt to transfer load as well as a frame. Uh, it weighs about one pound more than this pack and it comes in 50 liters or 65 liters. Questions? Please ask them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more gear videos and hiking video stuff. And uh, cheers. Mmm. Session IPA, state of mind, and I'm in a hiking state of mind.